Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can cut out our production hours using Power Automate to publish any of the content. And uh, specifically, it is meant for sales and marketing guy, which actually would like to have something uh, published under your local intranet or a company's website and get that marketed everywhere in the, into the social media platforms. So just think about uh, one car manufacturing company and uh, they would like to publish something related to trending in the industry in their internet portal or possibly in any of their company site and would like to publish the, uh, the same stuff in the different uh, media platform like LinkedIn and uh, Twitter. So if that marketing guy has to create uh, each and every trending news everywhere, then uh, that would be a lot of uh, effort and as well as like duplication of the content. So how we can automate, like there is a quick tool, which is which Microsoft has given to us that is Power Automate. So now I, I'm going to demo that out to you. Now you can see it's uh, one communication site I'm having over here. And on the right hand side, I have that industry news. So possibly, all the trends in the man car manufacturing industries would be displayed over here. So as a marketing guy, what uh, you're going to do, you're going to just maintain this list, which is one of the industry list. I can just showcase that to you. So let's say uh, we are having one industry news and in that list, we are having title, image, and as well as a couple of other columns. Let me change the view. That is external news, news link or a short description. So these, if a person is filling out uh, these details, then that entry would come up over here in your company intranet. And as well as we are going to post that under uh, this uh, LinkedIn as well as on Twitter. So let's, let's create that Power Automate. So I'm just logging into MS Flow. And now I'm just creating one new flow. And I would like to have that uh, flow to be triggered as instantly. So I'm creating an instant flow and skipping the trigger for now and would we'll just type in when an item it gets created so when an item is created and a share point then that trigger that, that triggers our flow so i'm just choosing out my ks communication side and just uh, choosing one of the list that is industry news so now these this uh, whenever one one item is gets created under that list then that item details would be available for us over here so in the next step i am going to use uh, the connector linkedin so if you see i have this linkedin v2 connector so if i click on that i would be available with couple of actions and uh, what i am going to do is to pick the share an article option because I would like to share one of the article which uh, we are already promoting somewhere then that should be get available over the LinkedIn as well. So I'm just clicking on this share an article. And under this you can see there is one content URL and visible to guests that means uh, uh, the, the, the share uh, status would be available for guests or not. So that means like if LinkedIn person or you, uh, if somebody is following your company or somebody is connected to you, then that uh, this article would be available for all, all those as well as to the guest. So now I am just I've just opened one of the test article. So this uh, the trending something which is trending in 2020 for car manufacturing. So I'm just copying that article link and going back to my flow, just pasting that out. So possibly it uh, maybe a link uh, from some from some common industry and now I just say yes they should be visible to everyone other than my connections as well and if you click on this show at once then it will open up the additional details so you can fill out those details from from the details which we had in the earlier step when I when an item is created so I'm just picking title from there description from short description and image URL as well so if you would like to have some custom image, otherwise you can just leave, leave that is as is. I'm just picking the subject as a title again and leaving this text as is because I'm going to like uh, share that uh, external link URL. Or I can just remove this one, 
as from static and can read out this external news link which I am going to create under my this industry news link. So now I'm going back to my flow. Now everything is being read, uh, read from this uh, when an item is created. So in the next step, now I would like to have the same thing available as a tweet under my Twitter company's Twitter account. So I'll use Twitter uh, connector as well. And I would just select post a tweet. So under this post a tweet, I can just bind it, whatever uh, I would like to give or whatever I would like to show. So under this, I would be just simply adding up uh, this title and under the title plus I can concatenate that uh, link URL as well. So for now, I just removed it, remove it and then use the external news link itself. Pretty simple one. So now I'm done. So this article, this item gets created, it should be posted under these uh, uh, social media accounts. So if you are using this uh, for the first time, then this would give you pop up just, just to sign in with your account, with your company's account, as, as well as uh, this po Twitter one would ask you to authorize the app to user credentials because I have already used these connectors. So it did not ask me. So now we are good. I can just save it. And I can just uh, go back and I'll go to my industry news list. Now I'm going to create one dynamic content and over here I would be pasting this URL, the company's trending news URL or like whatever you want to paste. So I can just say uh, new trend in car industry. Another external URL I can paste out that entire URL I just copied and a quick review of future car industry trends and in image URL you can put down let's say let me copy the same image which is there in the browser I'm just copying this one copy image address I can also have that uh, to be uploaded somewhere in my SharePoint, but uh, for the simplicity, I'm just copying from the same uh, the, the URL. Now I'm just save, clicking save. If I go back to my communication site or company's intranet, I would start getting that item industry trend news over here. And in the same way, if I just go back to my this uh, flow, I can just check out like whether it, it ran or not. Okay, so it ran successfully. I'm just clicking on it. So it gave me status that all the steps have been passed successfully. I'll just go back to my Twitter account just to check whether that tweet is available or not. Okay, so I can see that tweet is available. So it's under my this company's account. And if I go back to my this uh, LinkedIn, then I would see, I should see that uh, industry trending news over here as well. So now I can see that it's being posted over LinkedIn as well. So consider an example where a marketing guy has to post the news or any trending stuff like multiple times over the company's intranet and as well as on the social media platform, then how much time this power automate uh, connectors, this social media connectors would be saving for him. So I believe like uh, it could be a useful stuff for, for those like who are especially into digital marketing field. So if you like my video, please do subscribe and also like press on the like button.